Hi, as some of you may have seen on my Instagram or in my shorts video, I haven't filmed in a while because I've had temporal mandibular joint inflammation. It was very difficult for me to open my mouth beyond a point. Now I can do much better. Yeah, there's still a clicking sound there, the last stretch. Um, I am undergoing physical therapy. That will end by the end of this week. And I am wearing a night guard in the night. It is a bit uncomfortable and I think I've got a small ulceration uh, on the lower jaw. But yeah, those two along with some painkillers have really, really, really helped. And yeah, I, it, there was a point when it was very difficult for me to chew and I was on soft foods. Now much better. The cause is that, I, I mean, I clenched my jaw a lot, you know, with stress. A lot, a lot, a lot in 2020. You know some of the stress that I've had. Well, apart from pandemic, lockdown and so on, you know, my grams fell ill. Uh, other things happened. I fell ill myself, so yeah, lots of jaw clenching. And my physical therapist also says that my posture is very, very poor. I'm slouching a lot and my neck muscles are bearing the weight of, you know, my head. And your head apparently is around 15 kilograms on an average. So that, you know, that causes the neck muscles to be strained themselves and that also causes jaw pain can contribute to jaw pain not the sole cause she says so you know i am to improve my posture i am getting a new chair with a rest for the head as well so yeah in case you spy me slouching in the course of my videos do post a comment of course i won't be able to sit up right then because you know these are pre-recorded videos but yeah i will be more aware that this is happening at least yeah so if you see me slouching do tell me Right, I haven't shown you my last hurrah haul, as I call it. It was the haul that I made on Black Friday and Boxing Day, you know, the Christmas sales, as well as some of the beauty things I got as Christmas presents this year. Not, you know, all the presents. Obviously, I'm not including books and things here, but your yeah, beauty Christmas presents, as well as whatever I bought on Boxing Day, uh, that is Christmas Day and Boxing Day, as well as Black Friday. Yeah, this is my last hurrah haul, as I call it, because I won't be buying anything new for a very long time. Strict no buy here. Uh, we'll sort of move into a low buy uh, after the first couple of months are over and then, you know, stay on that low buy with just, you know, stash replenishing as I run out until Advent calendar season. Come August, come holiday 2021 launches, I will obviously be looking at things very carefully, looking at offers, looking at gifts with parties, looking at advent calendars themselves, beauty boxes, special curations and so on. And yeah, it will be, hopefully they'll be better than last year's were. Well. Um, so let me just show you what my last hurrah haul, that is the last haul of 2020. Everything that you see here was bought in 2020. I bought nothing in 2021 so far. Right, L'Occitane. I bought the Almond Delicious Paste, the Almond Delicious Soaps, a couple of those, and the Almond Delicious Hand Creams. Yeah, I got, I got a full-size hand cream, and then I got one, you know, a sample size free with it, which was quite nice. Yeah, so the Almond Delicious Paste comes in a nice glass jar, quite heavy. It is a scrub. I know I shouldn't be buying any body scrubs, but yeah, it smells so, so, so good. Yeah, Almond Delicious. I really love the smell as much as I love Soap and Glory's body scrubs. The only problem is that the cost of Soap and Glory's body scrubs is a lot, lot, lot cheaper. I also bought some Lancome Labzalou Rouge Inti Matte Lipsticks, which I have reviewed on this channel already. That was something that I bought for Black, uh, sorry, Boxing Day, I think on Christmas Day. Selfridges started their Christmas sale on Christmas Day itself. And then one of you, unfortunately, I can't remember the name, sorry, told me to get the Sol de Janeiro uh, body mist. I did not know which one to get, you know, of uh, the sale. And therefore, I got the Brazilian Crush body mist, 240 mils of that. And the 71 caramelized vanilla and macadamia mist, that is 90 mils of it. Uh, there is a lot of similarity between the two, but this is more, you can get the caramel smell there and the macadamia nuts as well. In this case, you get, hang on, th this smells exactly like the Boom Boom Cream. You get the pistachio there. Yeah, enormous bottle, I know. Um, I like using this as a bedtime fragrance. I, I feel that this suits me and puts me off to sleep very, very quickly. Whoever told me to buy this, thank you. I really, really love these very comforting, you know, cold nights, you know, uh, nice sort of warm uh, gourmand 
the cocoon of the old self to sleep. Very nice. But that was not the only perfume that I bought. I also bought, after recommendations on Fragrantica, the, the Agne Caramia perfume. Very, very, very nice. Um, I usually stick to designer houses for my perfumes. But yeah, if you're looking for something, I mean, the, the Siage is not monstrous, nor is the longevity. But yeah, if you're looking for a nice winter fragrance, this is a good choice. The other one that I bought upon recommendation from my realist who actually got gifted one for Christmas and then she had to return it. That was a bit of a mess for all sorts of reasons. So she said, it smells amazing, you've got to buy it. I have the EDT miniature of this, but yeah, this is the first time that I'm getting the EDP. It was on my wish list for a very, very long time. Gerla Insolence. Now this is actually a floral, however, Unlike the usual florals, which are either red florals, pink florals, or white florals, some are yellow, I know. This one is actually, I mean, look at the bottle there. Yeah? Now, yeah, I can actually smell that. Oh my. Violet and iris, yeah, are the sort of top notes in here. Violet and iris, and the base is powdery. So what happens is that you get a violet, a purple powdery bomb which is beyond amazing. I've never smelled anything like this. I mean, longevity on your clothes, it lasts until you wash your clothes. On my skin, it lasts until I take a shower. Amazing longevity, amazing sillage. I actually wore this to physical therapy once and my physiotherapist wanted to know the name of the perfume. So yeah, if you like your floral perfumes and if you're looking for something very, very different from the usual florals, not annoying or, you know, synthetic or Cloyingly, not one of those nauseating things, but violet powder bomb. Think you're smelling violets. You're smelling the color purple even. Guerlain Insolence. Very, very nice. I will be buying a backup of that, which is something I very, very rarely do for any perfume. I mean, I've bought, I've, I've repurchased a couple of perfumes. You know, J'adore by Dior, I repurchased that. Um, I've repurchased Miss Dior, I've repurchased Guerlain Samsara, but this is the first time that I'm actively buying something or wanting to buy a backup when I already have a full 100ml bottle there. Right, one more set of perfumes. This one I actually received for Christmas. Joe Malone, yeah, this is their Christmas cologne collection. Yeah, oopsie, right, got to see that nothing falls off. Uh, these are miniature bottles, set of five. So that's a great sampler there. Now, I love ginger biscuit in here. That's ideal for the winter. That will be the one that I buy the full size of. Rose and Magnolia isn't bad, and nor is Orange Bitters. I like both. Staying Power Projection, you know, very... These are colognes. Yeah, Joe Malone. You're not going to get amazing Staying Power or Siage in here. Um, the White Moss and Snowdrop and Green Almond and uh, Red Currant I don't really like from this set. But yeah, Ginger Biscuit sort of makes up for it. It will be my next Jo Malone purchase one day. I also bought some multi crumbs. This was a gift with purchase from Firine. This was for Black Friday. Now, you buy five multi crumbs, yeah? And they put them in a palette for you, just like that, which I think is quite neat. Yeah, so five multi crumbs. Stay tuned for reviews. You will see me wearing a lot, a lot, a lot of multi crumbs in forthcoming videos because you know i've got a lot to review hang on let me just press that back in it's coming out yeah so that's those are my first furine eyeshadows and then i bought this gift set of selfridges where it was heavily discounted it's from laura Mercier. it is the luxe indulgence almond coconut body triplet set hang on you have 200 mils very generous of the almond coconut body butter you have a small, uh, I think this is 100 mils, yeah? Hang on, let me just find out. Of the body wash, same almond coconut. Yeah, that's 100 mils. And then you have the Laura Mercier almond coconut EDT, that is 50 mils, full size, obviously. I mean, the body wash is not full size, but the other things are. So this, you know, I did tell you that I would buy more pampering bath and body. I mean, when we're all stuck at home, I think pampering bath and body is a good thing. So I asked my friend what she bought of this and she said, go for it straight away. It's heavily discounted. So yeah, this I bought of Selfridges from their sale. Beautiful pampering bath and body set. I love uh, Laura Mercier body butters, particularly amber vanilla. I think they're very sort of under hyped, you know, understated. There should be a lot more hype about 
Laura must say Boji Butters. Amber Vanilla. In fact, I like the smell and the texture more than the Boo Boo Cream, and that is saying something. So yeah, if you're looking to indulge in a marvelous, very, very pampering, luxurious Boji Butter, try Amber Vanilla from uh, Laura Mercier, if you haven't already. Now, on Black Friday, I also helped myself from Cult Beauty to the Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Multi Chrome Eyeshadows. There are five in the set, they're 26 quid each. I managed to get four because fifth one's carob was sold out. Uh, someday I will get the last one as well. But you know, before that, I will probably be reviewing this without the fifth one. So stay tuned for that. You know, you know yeah, very, very multi chromey multi chromes there. The only thing that I don't like is the price for the quantity that you get. You get two mils and you pay 26 quid. Firune, I think the whole lot came to, that is five uh, eyeshadows came to, I don't know, 50 ish. Right, uh, K Beauty, two things. The first is the Madagascar Centella Ampoule, which is pure Centella Ratiotica Serum. I haven't started using it because I am currently finishing up the Purito Centella Unscented. Yeah, this is a very liquidy, I mean, runny product, not thick at all. Um, I actually bought the toner of this as well. It's somewhere around, can't remember where I put it. Now the problem is that the toner is even runnier, and this is also quite runnier. That's a toner, it's not an ampoule. An ampoule is supposed to be thick. So yeah, I wish I hadn't bought the toner, but you never know, I'm gonna try using it. And if it does, you know, keep uh, pimples at bay, I'll be very, very happy. I also got, after hearing very, very good things about it, the unique Beta Glucan Palm Moisture Serum. Apparently, Beta Glucan is the big sort of watchword ingredient right now in skincare. And yeah, I'm just going to break up the seal there. These are both from Yestyle. The reason I like shopping in Yestyle, they've got everything that I want. They get K Beauty, J Beauty, even Taiwanese products, you know? Yeah, now that is more serum -y. You know, it's not as runny as a toner. So I will be using this and seeing if it is even nicer than my Hatta Level Premium. Yeah, I'll do a video on Hatta Level, don't worry. I know some of you have uh, asked me to do one. Cult Beauty also had on sale Natasha Denona's Transformat Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. It is completely oil-free. I got this shade 58Y Medium Yellow. Um, I should have got 60 in retrospect. This is why I don't really like, I mean, I didn't pay much for it. You know, it was on sale, very, very small amount. I think they've stopped making this product because I can't find it anywhere, uh, except on sale, obviously. But if I do get 60, I might give it a go. This is all right, I suppose, when I'm not at all tanned and, you know, maybe after a couple of weeks of vitamin C or something. But, you know, my regular mug, I think it's a smidgen too pale. And I'll just swatch that and you can decide. Okay, that doesn't look too bad now. So if you spread that out, it appears to blend okay. The backs of my hands are deeper than uh, my face because, you know, I sit in the car a lot and you get the sun there. So yeah, it doesn't appear too bad right now, maybe because I swatched it without concealer on, you know, right bare skin on a not very good day. I don't know, I'll try swatching it again. Bought this on the Cult Beauty sale. And you know, I love the formula. It's just that I feel that the shade is a smidgen pale for me. Anyway, I'll, you know, have a go at that and then decide. And unfortunately, I also ended up receiving for Christmas a full size This Works Sleep Together Calming Spray. It's one of those moments in life when you, yeah, I know, I know. I participate in all the secret Santas as well. It's one of those moments when you go, you know, because I've got enough of those five mil sleep sprays from Advent calendars from this works, I suppose, to go around the equator once or so. <laughs> but the, yeah, I, I end up getting a 75 mil full size. The irony, I tell you. Uh. So am I going to use it? Yeah, why not? You know, it's just on my pillow. I don't really love the smell of lavender, but yeah, well, let, let me try it. I'll give it a go and then see what happens.
So those are the products that I last pulled in 2020, Black Friday and Boxing Day, as well as some of the beauty things that I got for Christmas. Non-beauty things, I'm not showing you Christmas presents, books and things, but yeah, beauty presents, these are the big ones. Uh, what are the beauty presents you received for Christmas? What did you buy for Black Friday and Boxing Day? Or did you not buy anything? Well done you. Do tell me all of that in the comments below. I am on a no buy for the foreseeable future and I will be changing that to a low buy come my birthday, come March, April, and then continue on a low buy until the advent calendar season begins. What about you? Are you on a low buy, no buy? Lots of buy, tell me that in the comments below. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up, please do hit the subscribe button, please do ring the notifications bell and I'll speak to you soon.